Hello and welcome to November's Diaries. The past few days I've been going to a lot of cafes per usual in Seoul. I was spending my time working and enjoying the holiday vibes. I got a hot Americano and this is so cute. Oh my god, I'm so keeping this. When a friend of a friend, I've only ever met her once, posted on Instagram she needed help with her small online shopping mall, and I decided, why not? I had the time and I've always been interested in the behind the scenes of fashion. Um, she started it after she graduated and it's apparently doing really well, so I'm really happy. But I think that's going to be really fun and exciting. So there goes my first day of helping her. It wasn't a Monday, but a Saturday when I first dipped my toes in. The first day was short and simple. I learned how to pack and I was helping her pack their best selling item right now, which is the Gucci cardigan neck scarf set which has been popular among Koreans. I ended the day buying some contacts and home day before heading home. On my way home now, I should have worn more, it's so cold. But this was only the start. This is a new skirt that I got at Zara. And I'm just wearing a black sweater under here. I stopped by the convenience store to grab some sparkling water before heading off to her place again to help her out. Today we were doing white. It's the same product except it comes in three different colors, the camel version, white, and black. But today, I was also working with someone else. We tagged the product, cut off any loose threads, and then we pack it nicely so it looks good when the customers open it. We spent the whole morning working before heading out for a lunch break. We came to this amazing Vietnamese Thai place and I got the chicken so coconut curry which was absolutely delicious. Guys, I just finished. It's like 5 in the evening. I've been there the whole entire day. We are off again. It's like sub 8 in the morning to help Maya pack her orders. My really casual outfit. I'm using my scarf as a belt. <laughs> Today was a super nice day. The sun was out and the weather was nice, for winter at least. You can still see the leaves change in color. When I arrived, I was back at it. Standing on your feet for hours a day definitely tires you out, but this morning it came with a cup of hot coffee from Mega Coffee. Also, I should say when we pack, we check for production error, like the thread behind the button. Second coffee here. Still working after lunch. They also ship orders out almost every day. Today, I wasn't only packing the cardigans, but also pants. But another long day of packing and it was already night out. Another long day of packing. Day three, guys. So this is what my life will be like soon. The conundrum of a 9 to 5, a routine wake up time and commute. Today, they made drip coffee to start the day. Another day of packing the same cardigans. Look at all these stickers. They had another huge package of white cardigans from the manufacturer. Some had production air, so I stick a red sticker on it and they exchange it for a new one. And this is how the mountain grows before lunchtime. I got twinjang jjigae and bibimbap. Today, I actually got off early with the sky still bright. Wow, guys, this is the first time I've like twigged in the sky still like bright and not dark. <laughs> they pretty much need help every single day, so I'm gonna be back here tomorrow as well. But like, I don't have to like do it if I don't want to basically, <laughs> but I don't mind helping, so. Since I got off early, I treated myself to some apple pie. I got them some hot bread this morning. There's like five different things in here. There's like sausage, corn, red bean, etc. Today was actually supposed to be a rest day, but then they called me in early this morning. So therefore I'm just like going in my glasses and chilling. I have uh, this little bolero on. It like ties. Like I don't know if you guys can tell. Like there's a tie in the back. 
Although this week I was super tired from packing and the long days, I always enjoy new experiences and think it's important to try things out. For me, it definitely helped give me direction about what I want to do in the future, and I feel like I've learned so much about how a business works behind the scenes and the logistics that goes into it. Oh, they're we found the scarves later tucked in the cardigan. The manufacturer usually separates them, but apparently he didn't today. But today, I only worked a half day. My sweet tooth has been going crazy lately, so I came to the cafe again and got a pineapple coconut cake while I booked a last minute ticket to the US for next week. I'm heading back to deal with some immigration stuff. But after the cafe, I decided to thrift a little since I had some spare time finally. Friday was finally a free day. Good morning, guys. Oh, it's been so long. I'm currently just watching YouTube and having my coffee. But like, I feel like this has been the first time this week since I've had like a relaxing morning because I've just literally been waking up at 7 a.m. and going directly to like Maya's house and then helping them. So I haven't really had a break and it also like takes me an hour to get there. So it's sort of nice to have finally have sort of like a chill day. Although I'm still pretty busy. I have plans tonight with Anya, but before that I'm planning on going to get a haircut because <laughs> these bangs are like ridiculous and it's just driving me up the walls. I was originally planning on just cutting my bangs, but last minute, I decided to get a perm. This machine's so cool, I like what? Mm -hmm. Of course, they gave me some snacks. Oh, I was wondering what she cut. This was literally one the most random decision ever, but I actually really like my hair. It's just really poofy right now, and the wind also messed it up. But I'm literally getting like, did you guys watch like E Tuna, like the um, K drama? I feel like I'm giving like Susie vibes from that drama right now. I spent the afternoon editing in this cafe before heading off to a little girls' night. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way to meet Anya and Natalia in the Taiwan. It's been such a long time since I've had a night out and honestly it was much needed although I was freezing heading back in negative 6 degrees celsius weather. Saturday I took a day to reflect. I found this small cafe located in this tiny cranny that specialized in drip coffee and was so cute. Not only was there good coffee but it was super cozy for journaling. And then Tuesday was my last day in Korea. Bright and early in Akkuchung Rodeo for a little meeting. We're going to what's it called? Butter finger thing. It's like an American diner, sort of like Denny's, but basically it's like pancakes, you know, stuff like that, American breakfast. But later on today, I actually am going to meet Cole because we have dinner plans. It's been a really long time since I've met her. These are the last little things I'm doing before heading back to the US. So, like American diner vibes. I probably won't film when he gets here because that's way too awkward. I headed to the department store afterwards because I wanted to get Nicole a little gift. This is literally so cool. Guys, please tell me why do I get so distracted and like sudden impulse urges to buy things? Very subpar. They ended up not having what I wanted, which was pumpkin pie, so instead, I found pecan pie somewhere else. Oh my god, it's so cold. We are officially here. We're here to get taco butter, which is on chicken feet. It's one of Nicole's favorite, actually. I changed for tonight. This is my outfit. I just have this black cardigan, jean skirt. Oh, that's really fucking good. Oh my god, I don't know. Nicole's here. 
This is what we need after a cold day, a long day of work. This girl at the office. That's tomorrow. Oh, Very yeah. Oh, you put the rice. Yeah. Oh my God, make it look pretty, please. Obviously, I could answer that in Korean. You know. <laughs> I had an amazing dinner for my last night, and the day after, I was already leaving for the airport. I'm home now. Heading off. My flight's at 6.35, so I'm here at like a two, hour, two and a half hours beforehand. At the airport. I always get coffee before my flights, but this time I had two layovers before landing in Florida. 